We all know our vein and lymphatic system plays an important role in blood circulation, but sometimes they can get diseased. As KSAT 12 producer Haley Powers explains, this can be dangerous. You may have heard of varicose veins. It's when the veins in your body stretch out, and when this happens, blood can fall into the middle of the vein, causing them to get bigger. Leg swelling, pain, ulcers, vascular malformation, and clots can be a result of this. Anyone who thinks, you know, they have a blood clot should really, you know, seek medical attention. Nearly 30% of the U.S. population suffers from vein and lymphatic disease, but that number is higher in San Antonio because of two things. First is the heat. The heat can cause our veins to expand more frequently. Second is the large Hispanic population, which is the most susceptible to these diseases. The most common risk factor for venous disease uh, is you inherit it. It's genetics. Doctors recommend getting preventative checkups and making sure you are moving your legs often, especially if you sit while working. You need to keep your toes on the ground and pick your heels up and, and move them back and forth. I'll call that chair walking. Some symptoms to look out for when it comes to issues in your veins include itching, burning, cramping, heaviness, and swelling in the lower part of your body. Treatment of these diseases rarely requires surgery. Haley Powers, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.